today I'm going to do a uh, radiator flush and the reason why this car actually has a uh, been overflowing has a leak get the radiator cap off here it's a little warm engine is but you can see all this nasty brown crap that's actually inside my system here's a good example so I am going to flush this out and try to eliminate this crap. And the product I'm going to be using is Prestone Rare Flush and Cleaner. And what I'm going to do is drain this out and then fill it with water with this cleaner in it. Let the car run four to six hours. And then I will drain this out and then fill it back up with antifreeze. First step, looking underneath the car. This is a hard piece of plastic. And this needs to be removed by simply removing these screws here that hold it on. Some to the fender and bumper, others up underneath. And what this will allow us to do is to gain access to the drain plug of the radiator. This right here is an 8 millimeter bolt that I'm removing. And they are in the center. And it's a smaller one on the outside. Okay, I removed the center ones that hold a piece of plastic. Now, this is a 5.5 millimeter that holds the perimeter bolt to hold this piece of plastic on. With these perimeter bolts removed, as you can see, this should slide backwards and out. Here you can see the plastic shield removed from the car. Here's my drain nut, like I said. And 19 millimeter fits on that very well, okay? And you want to be sure that you put something underneath to catch the antifreeze. Do not let it just go onto the ground. That way you can dispose of it properly. I'm going to be using this right here to catch mine. large bucket of water pouring into the tank. I still have that valve open so I'm just kind of pushing out some of the uh, excess stuff in the radiator. After closing my radiator valve, I'm going to add this radiator flush and just plain water.
quite a while. Again, four to six hours of normal driving. That left is really quicker to play through the system. As you can see, my temperature is cold. And I'm going to let this get nice and heated up and circulate through for quite a while before I uh, drain it back out again. Cars run for over four hours. And uh, the, the water coming out was a lot cleaner than it originally was. So now I'm going to add antifreeze that I bought. I uh, just mixed this 50-50 ratio and now I'll put it in. Car running. I've already added two gallon antifreeze. I'm going to let it run and circulate a little bit more and then I will add some more to it. <laughs> 